Why do we feel we must follow certain paths like marriage and having kids? Can we find happiness in different ways of living? How can Buddhist teachings guide us in making such big life choices? Today, we'll explore these important questions. We'll look at why it's okay to choose paths that might be different from what everyone else expects. This journey is about questioning the usual ways and discovering new paths that could lead us to true happiness. In today's world, where we have so many options and so much advice, it can be easy to just go along with the common script for life. But what if that script doesn't give us what we really want? Buddhism teaches that real freedom comes from understanding ourselves and making choices that match who we truly are. As we talk about making different choices, like not getting married, choosing not to have children, or ignoring other common expectations, we will dig into the deeper reasons behind these decisions. Stay with us as we go through this deep and intriguing topic, helped by the wisdom of Buddha and stories from people who have chosen their own unique paths. Each part of our discussion today aims to challenge, inspire, and enlighten you, pushing you to think about your own choices in new ways. And remember, if this discussion makes you think or helps you see things differently, please like and subscribe to our channel, Wisdom in Real Life. This will help you keep up with our community of thinkers and seekers. Make sure to watch until the end for a full understanding of how choosing your own path might be the most rewarding journey you can take. Let's start this exploration together and find out what it means to live true to yourself in a world where everyone is expected to follow the same steps. 1. The Illusion of Permanence, Reproduction and Ancestry When we think about why people choose to have children, one common reason is the desire to carry on the family name and leave something behind. However, the teachings of Buddhism invite us to question this desire by reminding us of life's impermanence. That everything changes and nothing lasts forever. This perspective challenges the usual idea that our legacy has to be biological. Buddhism encourages us to look beyond the common pressure to have children, asking us to consider why we feel this need. Is it because we love the idea of nurturing, because society expects it, or because we fear being forgotten? Reflecting on these motives can reveal what truly drives our decisions and may lead us to see that having children isn't essential for our personal fulfillment. Instead of focusing solely on passing down our genes, we can think about other ways to make a lasting impact. This might mean sharing our knowledge, helping our communities, or contributing to positive changes in the world. These actions create legacies too, often aligning more closely with our personal values and goals. By practicing non-attachment to the idea of lineage as suggested by Buddhist teachings, we open ourselves up to these fulfilling alternatives. This approach doesn't mean we disregard the importance of family. Rather, it broadens our view of what family can be. It encourages us to form connections based on emotional and spiritual bonds, not just biological ones. Through meditation, we gain space to think about these connections and their importance in our lives. Meditating on non-attachment helps us appreciate the temporary nature of our relationships and the special moments we share with loved ones, whether or not they are related by blood. Many find deep fulfillment in life paths that don't include biological children. Their experiences can inspire youth to think differently about our own life choices. These stories show that living a full and loving life doesn't have to involve having one's own children. They help us see that there are many ways to build a meaningful life. Meditation allows us to explore our feelings about family and legacy without harsh judgment. This practice shows us the beauty of accepting life as it comes. We learn that letting go of the need to control our legacy through children can free us to truly enjoy the present and contribute positively to the world right now. Despite societal pressures, Approaching life choices like parenthood with mindfulness and compassion helps us deal with any criticism or judgment gracefully. In our meditation practice, we learn to respond to negative feedback with understanding and kindness, 
creating a supportive environment where different life choices are respected. In sum, recognizing the impermanence of life helps us see that having children is just one of many ways to leave a mark on the world. Buddhism opens up a wide range of possibilities for making a difference and enriching others' lives. These teachings encourage us to value the temporary nature of all things and to find satisfaction in living authentically according to our true selves. By reflecting on these insights, we not only allow ourselves to live more freely, but also enhance the lives of others by setting an example of genuine living. Let's cherish and grow these understandings as we continue exploring the beautiful, fleeting nature of life. 2. Conformity versus Authenticity, Social Norms and Personal Truth In life, we often face strong pressures to follow specific paths, especially when it comes to big decisions like getting married or having kids. These pressures come from societal norms, unwritten rules that many people live by without questioning. But what if these paths don't feel right for us? Buddhism encourages us to seek our own truth and make choices based on what genuinely fulfills us, not just what others expect from us. Buddha's own story is a powerful example of choosing personal truth over societal expectations. He left behind a life of comfort and predetermined roles to find deeper truths on his own terms. This bold move wasn't easy, but it was crucial for him to discover and share his insights. His example prompts us to consider, are we making choices because they truly resonate with us? Or are we just following the crowd? Choosing to be true to ourselves is a key lesson in Buddhism. It often means taking a less common path. For some, this might mean deciding not to marry or have children if those choices don't align with their inner desires. It's through such honest self-examination that we can live a life that truly feels right. Mindfulness practices help us see the influences that shape our decisions. They bring clarity to our choices, helping us differentiate our true desires from the pressure to conform. Practicing mindfulness lets us see our motivations more clearly, ensuring our decisions are genuinely ours. Living authentically can require use to stand up to expectations from those around us, like family or friends who hope we'll stick to more traditional paths. This challenge is where the support of a community or Sangha becomes vital. In Buddhism, Sangha originally meant a community that supports each other's spiritual growth. Today, it can mean any supportive group that respects our individual choices. When we live authentically, we connect deeply with our actions and feel more at peace. This genuine connection brings lasting happiness, much more so than the temporary approval that comes from fitting in. Moreover, by being true to ourselves, we can inspire others to question their paths and seek what truly makes them happy. Our example shows that it's possible to find fulfillment outside conventional choices. Choosing authenticity allows us to explore new ways of living that might better suit our needs and contribute positively to society. By not strictly following prescribed roles, we can discover innovative approaches to life that benefit both ourselves and others. In conclusion, following our own path may not always be easy, but it brings great rewards. Buddhism teaches us to look past what is commonly done and find our own way. Doing so not only helps us fulfill our potential, but also enriches the world with diversity and understanding. Let's take a moment to reflect on our life choices. Are they true to who we are, or are they just what's expected of us? Let's value the freedom of living authentically and support one another in pursuing our truest selves. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. The Wisdom of Questioning – Authority and Conventional Wisdom Exploring our own path often starts with a simple but powerful act. Questioning the norms and rules we've been taught to follow. This isn't about rebelling just for the sake of it. It's about seeking a deeper understanding to ensure our life choices genuinely reflect who we are. Buddhism strongly supports the practice of questioning, 
Buddha himself told his followers not to just take his word for anything, but to test his teachings against their own experiences and reasoning. This idea teaches us that real wisdom isn't just given to us. We discover it through questioning and exploring on our own. When we start to question why society expects certain things from us, like getting married or having kids, we often find that these truths don't work for everyone. By challenging these ideas, we can figure out what really makes us happy and fulfilled. Doing this takes bravery, especially when our questions challenge the usual way of doing things or what important people in our lives expect from us. But having the support of a thoughtful group of friends or a community can give us the strength we need. In Buddhism, this supportive group is called a Sangha. Today, any group that encourages us to ask questions and supports us in finding our own answers can play this role. Questioning authority also allows us to take charge of our lives. It changes us from passive followers of received wisdom to active seekers of our own truth. This change is crucial for our personal and spiritual growth. It makes us more open to new ideas and different ways of seeing the world, which helps us make better, more informed decisions. This habit of questioning can also lead to new and better ways of doing things. Many improvements in society have come from people who dared to question and rethink what everyone else took for granted. By challenging the usual ways, we don't just grow as individuals, we can also help our communities and societies evolve. Mindfulness and meditation support this process by helping us calm our minds and think more clearly. These practices allow us to approach our questions not as rebels, but as seekers of truth. With a clear and calm mind, we can differentiate between simply wanting to go against the grain and genuinely seeking understanding. Encouraging others to ask questions and think critically is another key part of this process. By creating an environment where questioning is encouraged, we help build a society where people are more thoughtful and aware. This can change how we interact, leading to more respectful and meaningful discussions. In conclusion, learning to question is not about doubting everything just for the sake of it. It's about seeking deeper insights into our own lives and the world around us. Buddhism shows us that through questioning, we can find truths that resonate deeply with our inner selves. This journey enriches our lives, giving us a solid basis for making decisions that are true to who we are. As we continue on this path, let's use questioning as a tool for personal and community growth, encouraging one another to seek answers that truly reflect our deepest selves and lead to a more authentic life. 4. Existential Freedom Philosophical Perspectives on Life Choices Existential freedom is a powerful concept that encourages us to make life choices based on our deepest desires and values, rather than simply following what society expects of us. This idea, deeply rooted in both philosophy and Buddhism, shows us that true freedom comes from understanding ourselves and the nature of our existence. It tells us that we have the power to shape our own lives through the decisions we make. Imagine the freedom of making choices that genuinely reflect who you are. For example, deciding not to marry or have children, if these paths do not resonate with you, can be a strong statement of your independence. These are choices that let you live authentically, according to your own values, rather than just going along with everyone else's expectations. Embracing this kind of freedom means engaging in deep self-reflection. It requires us to face our fears and doubts and to ask ourselves some tough questions. What really matters to me? Am I living in a way that truly reflects my beliefs? The answers to these questions help guide us toward a life that is both purposeful and meaningful. Buddhism adds to this discussion by teaching us about the impermanence and interconnectedness of everything. It warns us that becoming too attached to specific outcomes or ways of living can lead to unhappiness. By accepting the ever-changing nature of life and our experiences, we can make choices that better reflect our current understanding of ourselves and the world around us. 
Mindfulness is a key tool in achieving this kind of understanding. It sharpens our awareness of our present situation and the decisions before us. By practicing mindfulness, we can approach life's big questions with a clear and focused mind, making decisions that are deeply rooted in our personal truth. This kind of existential freedom doesn't just affect us individually, it has wider implications for society as well. When people make choices based on their true selves, they add to the diversity and vibrancy of their communities. This diversity enriches society, creating a more complex and accepting social environment where different lifestyles are acknowledged and respected. Living according to your own philosophical beliefs can also inspire others. It shows that there are many ways to lead a fulfilling life outside the usual norms. Choosing a unique path can lead to greater personal satisfaction and can positively influence those around you. However, living with existential freedom isn't always easy. It demands honesty about what is truly possible for us and what might be beyond our reach. Being realistic about our limitations helps us make choices that are not only ideal but also achievable and sustainable. Encouraging others to embrace their own existential freedom can deepen mutual understanding and respect within a community. Supporting one another in our journeys towards authenticity helps build a society that values deep personal insight and collective empathy. In summary, existential freedom is about making choices that align with our deepest values and beliefs, freeing ourselves from societal pressures. It challenges us to live lives that are truly our own, filled with purpose and meaning. As we continue to explore this concept, let's encourage each other to pursue paths that fulfill us and contribute positively to the world. This journey not only enriches our own lives, but also enhances the collective human experience, celebrating the full range of what it means to truly live. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. Five. The Challenge of Parenthood, Potential Downsides and Mindful Decisions Becoming a parent is often seen as a key milestone in life, yet it comes with challenges and responsibilities that aren't always discussed openly. Society usually highlights the joys of raising children, but it's equally important to consider the potential difficulties and the importance of making thoughtful, informed decisions about parenthood. Deciding to become a parent is a significant choice that should be made carefully. It's crucial for individuals and couples to think deeply about why they want to raise a child and whether they are prepared for the long-term commitment involved. This decision should go beyond just fitting in with social expectations and really reflect a personal desire and readiness to nurture another life. One of the biggest changes that comes with parenthood is the adjustment to your daily life. Having children requires a lot of time, energy, and resources, which can be overwhelming, especially if the decision was driven more by societal pressure than by a genuine desire to be a parent. This can lead to stress and a feeling of being constantly stretched thin. Financial concerns are another significant aspect of parenthood. Raising a child involves considerable costs, and not everyone might be in a financial position to handle these without making major sacrifices. This economic pressure can affect the family's overall well-being, straining relationships, and decreasing overall happiness. Additionally, the idealized image of parenthood often doesn't match the reality of everyday life. The ongoing demands of raising children can lead to emotional and physical exhaustion, known as parental burnout. This condition can make it difficult for parents to provide the nurturing environment essential for their children's healthy development. It's also worth noting that not everyone naturally feels drawn to parenting. For those who don't feel a strong pull towards this role, the responsibilities can seem daunting and less rewarding. Feeling out of sync with your own life choices can lead to dissatisfaction and regret over time. Some people choose not to have children as a conscious decision towards personal and environmental sustainability. Opting out of parenthood allows them to focus on personal growth, career ambitions, or other ways of contributing to society that don't involve raising children. 
Mindfulness is key when considering parenthood. Engaging in mindfulness practices can help potential parents understand their true feelings about having children. Through meditation and reflection, they can uncover their real motivations and concerns, leading to more thoughtful and appropriate decisions. Society should respect and accept the choice not to become parents as a legitimate decision. Embracing diverse life choices, including the decision not to have children, fosters a more inclusive and supportive community. It acknowledges that there are many valid ways to find fulfillment and contribute to society. For those who choose to embark on the journey of parenthood, it is crucial to approach it with awareness and mindfulness. Being present and fully engaged can help mitigate some of the stresses of parenting and enhance the joy it can bring. It's about striking a balance and making sure this significant life choice truly aligns with one's personal values and life goals. In summary, while parenthood can bring great happiness, it is not without its challenges. A mindful approach to deciding whether to become a parent involves considering the potential difficulties and being honest about one's readiness and reasons for wanting to be a parent. By embracing mindfulness, individuals can make parenting decisions that are truly right for them, enhancing their own well-being and that of their potential children. Such thoughtful deliberation ensures that both parents and non-parents feel confident in their life choices, enriching their lives and the broader fabric of society. 6. Crafting Alternative Lifestyles Creativity and Fulfillment Hoosing, an alternative lifestyle is a profound way to embrace what truly matters to you. This path allows you to live according to your deepest values, interests, and passions, instead of just following what everyone else thinks you should do, like getting married, having kids, or sticking with a traditional job. To start creating a life that's uniquely yours, first identify your core values. What is most important to you? It might be freedom, adventure, creativity, helping others, or living in a way that's good for the planet. Knowing what you care most about will guide your choices and help you build a lifestyle that brings you true joy and satisfaction. Being creative is essential in this process. Creativity here means more than making art. It means designing your life in innovative ways that fit who you are. You might decide to start a business that matches your ethical beliefs, adopt a minimalist lifestyle to focus on experiences over things, or travel the world to fulfill a love of adventure. Making these choices can be tough, especially if they differ from what your family or friends expect. However, the joy that comes from living a life that fits perfectly with your personal dreams is incredibly rewarding. It leads to a deep sense of happiness and fulfillment because you're being true to yourself. Mindfulness and self-awareness are crucial tools on this journey. They help you stay true to your values and make clear decisions, even when the way isn't easy. Practicing mindfulness keeps you connected to your goals and helps you manage the pressures that might pull you off your chosen path. Thinking about money is also important when you're planning a lifestyle that's a bit out of the ordinary. You might need to be more careful with your budget, especially if your income is less regular or lower than in a traditional job. Learning about finance and possibly getting advice from experts will help you make sure your lifestyle is not just fulfilling, but also sustainable over the long term. Finding a community that supports your choices can make a big difference too. Whether it's people nearby or online groups, connecting with others who share your values provides both practical help and emotional support. This community can be a source of inspiration and a reminder that you're not alone in choosing a different path. It's also wise to prepare for some people not understanding or supporting your choices. Building up your confidence and resilience will help you face skepticism or criticism. Sharing Why you've chosen this lifestyle and the happiness it brings you can also help others see your perspective. The benefits of living an alternative lifestyle go beyond personal satisfaction. 
Your choice to live differently can inspire others to think about their own lives and possibly choose paths they hadn't considered before. You become a living example that there are many ways to lead a fulfilling life. In conclusion, building a life based on what truly inspires and excites you is about more than just being different. It's about being deeply connected to what makes you happy and fulfilled. This approach requires you to be thoughtful, brave, and proactive. By staying focused on your values and using mindfulness to navigate challenges, you can create a life that not only feels right to you, but also enriches the world around you. Living this way is not just about personal happiness. It's about crafting a life that is genuinely meaningful and rewarding. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Digital Detachment Critique of Social Media and Consumerism In our modern world, we often find ourselves deeply immersed in social media and a culture driven by buying more and more. This digital environment can pull us away from real-life interactions and meaningful experiences. Choosing to detach from digital entanglements allows us to reconnect with what truly enriches our lives. Social media shapes how we view success and happiness, often setting unrealistic standards for both. Seeing constant snapshots of other people's lives can make us feel unsatisfied with our own. It's crucial to think about how much time and emotional energy we spend online and to consider the benefits of cutting back. Our consumer culture, propelled by endless advertisements and the urge to purchase, links our value too closely to what we own. This focus can divert us from pursuits that enrich our lives, like personal growth or community involvement. By stepping back from this consumer mindset, we can shift our focus from owning things to experiencing life. Digital detachment doesn't mean we have to completely give up technology or social media. It means using them wisely. We can set limits to make sure these tools improve our lives instead of taking over. This might mean turning off our devices at certain times of the day or engaging only with content that truly benefits us. Practicing mindfulness can greatly aid this effort. It helps us stay present and recognize when online interactions start to replace real human connections. Mindfulness encourages us to directly engage with the world, increasing our appreciation for the simple joys life offers. Being mindful about our digital habits can also help us manage our money better. Much of today's consumerism is driven by trying to keep up with trends we see online, which can lead to spending on things we don't really need. By being more thoughtful about our digital consumption, we can make smarter financial choices and focus on what really matters to us. Finding or building a community that values real interactions can support our journey towards digital detachment. Being around people who prioritize face-to-face -face connections and living intentionally can strengthen our own commitment to this path. These communities offer a sense of belonging and support that is hard to find online. However, pulling away from digital habits can be tough, as social platforms are designed to keep us engaged. Building resilience and self-discipline is key to maintaining healthy boundaries and ensuring our interactions are purposeful, not just habitual. Reducing our digital footprint is not only good for our personal well-being, but also better for the environment. The constant production and disposal of consumer goods significantly impact natural resources and waste levels. By choosing to detach, we help both ourselves and the planet. Sharing how we manage our digital and consumer habits can inspire others to rethink their own. It opens up a conversation about shifting towards more valuable and meaningful ways of engaging, both online and offline. In conclusion, digital detachment is about creating a balance where technology serves us without overshadowing our real-life experiences. It's about rediscovering the value of direct interactions, enjoying nature, and participating in our communities. As we step back from excessive online activity and consumer behavior, we make room for richer, more genuine connections and a more attentive lifestyle. This not only improves our own lives, 
but also enhances the community and environmental health around us. 8. The Singular Path Non-Conformity and Individual Choices Choosing to follow a unique path by embracing non-conformity involves stepping away from what society typically expects. This decision allows individuals to live according to their own values and passions, instead of merely fitting into predefined roles. The journey begins with a clear understanding of one's personal values. Knowing what truly matters to you is crucial. It helps you make decisions that are not just different for the sake of being different, but are deeply aligned with your identity and beliefs. This self-awareness is the foundation of a non-conformist life. Recognizing the freedom that comes with non-conformity is liberating. When you make choices based on your own beliefs rather than societal pressures, you discover new possibilities and avenues for exploration. This freedom can lead to uncovering new passions and interests that might remain hidden if you followed a more traditional path. However, living a life that goes against the grain isn't without its challenges. It often requires courage, as stepping out of the norm can sometimes lead to isolation or misunderstandings from those around us, including friends and family. Building a network of supportive, like-minded individuals can provide the encouragement and understanding needed to maintain this path. This community becomes a source of strength and belonging. Resilience is another key trait for those who choose to live unconventionally. You might face doubts and criticism, not just from society, but also from within. Strengthening your resilience helps you stay true to your path and overcome these challenges. Mindfulness supports this journey by keeping you connected to your core values. It helps you make thoughtful, intentional choices and stay focused amid external distractions. This practice ensures that your decisions remain aligned with your deepest goals and beliefs. Choosing a non-conventional life also promotes personal growth. As you navigate the challenges of doing things differently, you learn a lot about yourself. This process often boosts self-confidence and deepens your understanding of what makes you truly happy and fulfilled. Financial independence can be crucial for those who live non-traditionally. Since some non-conformist choices may not align with more lucrative careers, it becomes important to manage finances wisely. Adopting a simpler lifestyle or finding creative ways to earn money that align with your values is essential. The positive environmental impact of non-conformity is also significant. By choosing to live simply or reject consumerism, you can lessen your ecological footprint. This choice supports sustainability and shows respect for the planet, reflecting the values that often inspire non-conformists. By living authentically, you not only enrich your own life, but also inspire others. Your example can encourage people to question their own life choices and consider if those choices genuinely reflect their personal values and dreams. In conclusion, embracing non-conformity isn't just about rejecting what's typical. It's about actively choosing a life that truly reflects who you are. This path requires clarity, bravery, resilience, and mindfulness, but it rewards you with deep personal fulfillment and growth. As you walk this singular path, remember that each step taken in authenticity enriches not only your own life, but also has the potential to inspire and positively influence those around you. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Community Redefined, Finding Sangha in Modern Times In our fast-changing world, the meaning of community, or Sangha as known in Buddhism, has expanded. It's no longer just about living near each other or sharing a local space. Today, community means connecting with people who share similar values, beliefs, and goals, regardless of where they are. This new definition is especially important for those following non-traditional life paths. A modern Sangha provides a support network that offers acceptance and understanding, crucial for navigating life's challenges while pursuing personal growth. Such a community can deeply enhance one's life, 
giving a sense of belonging and mutual support that's vital for maintaining one's unique path, especially when it differs from mainstream expectations. To find or build this kind of community, start by understanding your own values clearly. Knowing what matters most to you can help you identify others who share these principles. This common ground is essential for forming a supportive environment where all members can flourish. Getting involved in activities that align with your interests can lead you to like-minded people. Participating in workshops, online groups, or local events are all ways to meet potential community members who resonate with your values. Effective communication is vital for nurturing a strong community. Open and honest conversations allow members to share their journeys and challenges, helping to build trust and deepen connections. This kind of transparency is the backbone of a strong, supportive community. Acknowledging and valuing each member's contribution is also crucial. When everyone's input is appreciated, it encourages active involvement and strengthens the community's fabric. Adaptability is another key trait of a modern Sangha. As members' needs change, the community should be flexible enough to evolve, ensuring it continues to provide relevant support. This adaptability is crucial in today's fast-paced world. Respecting individual journeys within the community is also important. While members might share common values, their personal paths could vary. A supportive community recognizes and respects these differences, providing a safe space for each person to explore their own growth. The influence of a strong community goes beyond its members. It can shape broader societal views and contribute to cultural change. By living out alternative lifestyles and supporting one another, community members can inspire outsiders to reconsider their own life choices. Building and maintaining such a community isn't always easy. It takes dedication and sometimes tough decisions about who fits into the community. These decisions should always reflect the group's core values and objectives. In conclusion, rethinking the concept of community to better meet our modern lives is crucial for supporting individuals on unconventional paths. Establishing or finding a Sangha offers invaluable support, understanding, and encouragement. This modern take on community is about thriving together in a way that enriches everyone's life. By fostering strong, value-driven connections, we not only improve our own experiences, but also help create a more understanding and diverse society. 10. Compassionate Choices – Living with Kindness and Understanding Living with compassion means making choices that consider the well-being and feelings of others, not just our own. This approach to life enriches both our lives and the lives of those around us fostering a world where kindness and understanding prevail. The first step in living compassionately is self-awareness. Understanding our own emotions and reasons behind our actions is crucial. This deep self-reflection helps us see how our choices impact others. By being more aware of our own feelings, we can better relate to what others might be feeling. This empathy allows us to make decisions that are mindful of their effects on others. Every day, we interact with others, and each interaction is an opportunity to practice compassion. Simple actions, such as listening carefully, offering help, or just being there for someone, can make a big difference. These acts of kindness can start a chain reaction, inspiring others to spread kindness too. When conflicts arise, approaching them with compassion can lead to more effective resolutions. By understanding and respecting different viewpoints, we can find solutions that everyone agrees on, promoting peace and respect in our relationships. Education also plays a key role in developing compassion. Learning about diverse cultures and experiences expands our understanding of the world. This broader perspective helps us appreciate the variety of human experiences and encourages us to be more accepting and less quick to judge. Being responsible for our actions is another aspect of compassionate living. When we make mistakes, owning up to them and trying to make things right shows our commitment to living honestly and respectfully. This accountability not only mends relationships, but also builds trust, 
and shows our integrity. Our financial choices can reflect our compassion as well. Supporting businesses that treat their workers fairly and give back to the community shows that we care about how our spending affects others. These choices encourage businesses to adopt more ethical practices. Caring for the environment is also a part of compassionate living, making choices that minimize harm to our planet, like recycling or using less plastic, shows respect for nature and all living things. These environmentally friendly actions demonstrate our concern for the world and its future. Sometimes, living compassionately requires bravery, especially when standing up for others or choosing paths that are less accepted. Fighting for justice and equality, even when it's tough, is a significant way to show compassion. Sharing our experiences with compassionate living can also inspire others. Talking about the challenges and rewards of making kind decisions encourages others to think about how their actions affect the wider world. In conclusion, compassionate living is about thoughtful choices that show care for others. It's about kindness in our daily actions, solving conflicts with empathy, supporting fair and ethical practices, and caring for our planet. Living this way not only makes our lives richer, but also helps create a more caring and understanding world. Each small choice we make can lead to a bigger impact, building a society where compassion is at the heart of every decision. Conclusion Throughout our discussion, we have explored different ways to live that go beyond what is often expected of us. From understanding that life's roles are not fixed to embracing the freedom that comes from making our own choices, each topic has encouraged us to think deeply about our own lives. We have looked at how stepping back from constant digital connections and a culture focused on buying more can lead to a simpler, more thoughtful life. We've also seen how choosing to be different and making decisions with kindness not only makes our lives better, but also helps those around us. Each part of this series has shown us the importance of knowing ourselves, being brave, and staying mindful. These qualities help us handle life's challenges honestly and genuinely. By being true to ourselves and supporting others in their unique journeys, we help build a world that is more accepting, diverse, and kind. As we wrap up, let's keep in mind that every decision we make can influence our lives and the world. Living with intention and kindness shows others a way to think about their own lives and choices. Thank you for being part of this conversation about choosing less common paths and the big impact these choices can have. Let's keep encouraging each other, sharing what we learn, and creating communities that reflect our true values. By doing this, we make the world a richer and more welcoming place where everyone can find their own happiness and fulfillment. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.